All right, guys, it's Guns of Liberty, and this is going to be part three of my ammo storage. Don't do this. Now, we are getting into the do do this <laughs> because I started out with some toolboxes that were too heavy to carry, and now I have a full assortment of 30 caliber cases that I bought from Harbor Freight for a discount. Pretty good deal, in fact. $5 and under a piece. And I've separated out my ammo into these cases by caliber. You can tell, 270, 12 gauge, you get the picture. Now, for some of my commenters, I will mention that most of these boxes are not full. I know it seems like a lot of ammo. When you look at it, it looks like a lot of ammo, but it's not. Sorry to tell you, a lot of these are not full. So... You know, I don't mean to burst any bubbles. You know, some people were a little angry that I was posting my super collection and the government was going to come get me and blah, blah, blah. I deleted some of the posts because they were pretty nasty. But, come on. I am a YouTube channel. I do reviews on guns. It is only natural that I will have a pretty healthy selection of ammunition since I have to be able to review any gun that comes into my possession for the review so let's keep that in mind let's keep the comments you know decent so I don't have to delete them I know I keep saying that but keep getting some pretty pretty harsh ones so this is my solution I showed this in part two now they are all labeled and marked I do suggest that if you're gonna do this because for the couple weeks before I got the label kit it was rough Okay, now I do have the desiccant, uh, probably saying that wrong, desiccant packs, they're the silica um, packets that remove moisture. Yes, I know that these are not the most airtight containers in the world, but it's also a very air-conditioned, you know, well-built house with no drafts, no humidity, no anything, so... I don't really need to worry about it that much. The only time I would need to worry about it is, is if I actually bugged out. Now, that's the last thing I want to say with this video is that I live in my bug out location. I love you guys. I love my viewers. I love my subscribers. I love my commenters. But you got to know that I live where I would bug out to. My only concern is getting home. Now, I want this ammo to be mobile. I want to be able to take it with me if I do have to leave. So what would be a situation where I have to leave? Okay, earthquake, forest fire, something that, you know, I'm cut off to the world. I'm getting ready to starve to death because I've exhausted all of my food supplies, all of my water supplies, and now there's no other choice. I have to leave. I have to go... I, in order to protect my family, I have to leave. That is the only time that I will leave. My whole goal in life is to get home. I prep to stay. I am a bug-in guy who makes sure that there is always the possibility of bugging out. So just keep that in mind, guys, when you're commenting, <laughs> because I get so many, and I love your comments, and if you haven't noticed, I will respond to all almost all of them some of them just get a like if it's not a question or if there's no real response you just made a good statement i'll just give it a like but for the most part i i believe i'm catching almost all these comments and i think that i'm giving an answer or deleting them depending on how bad they are <laughs> but keep that in mind guys i am a bug in kind of guy and not a bug out guy and this ammo storage is to keep stuff organized. I can grab one of these crates and head out to the range with my 22 long rifle and do a review. That's the whole point of this. So, yes, it is mobile now. I can throw it on a cart. I can carry it out two by two, however I want to do it. I can carry what calibers I need depending on what guns I'm grabbing. It's all organized. This is great. This is what I wanted. This is what my goal was. My goal is not so much to have containers that can be dropped off of a building, but I am working to get metal containers. So that is going to happen in the future, and I will update this video when I do. 
However, this will be the third and final installment of my ammo storage. Don't do this video series. So this is where I'm at right now, and until I get all the metal containers, this is where I'll stay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you so much for your views. These ammo storage videos have been some of my most popular videos, which is insane to me. But I definitely thank you. I thank you so much for all of your views. I just hit a thousand subscribers, and I'm going to have a um, a giveaway very soon for that. So keep up, keep posted, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And this is Guns of Liberty. Have a great day.